I don't, I don't, I'm not sure which one it must be this one, right? These are the... Oh, that's, yeah, that's us. No, I'm talking to Dan. Okay, sorry. Oh. She, he doesn't know that you're on pilot. Wave, oh, uh, I switch seats. I'm in the pilot <laughs> seat for real. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. That's why Megan it's is blinking. Megan tasking. She's stepping all in my Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> That's its depth there. Right? Yeah, that's its 900 depth. 900 meters. You don't get a slant range there, do you? Horizontal, 170 meters away. A slant range, 2,500 meters. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of far. We might not be able to see it. But it is a very flat day, so. <sighs> yeah. Can't get much flatter than that. I bet you could so see yourself in the reflection. Wow, look how flat it is out there. It's 160 there. meters away behind us. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not too bad out here. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Megan, can we have the lasers on? Yeah, I can turn on lasers. Okay. Hello. Yeah, um, as long as we don't go towards the mooring, then we're cool. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be back here. It looks like it's just break a little small ding in the bottom of a hole would be uh, interesting. <laughs> Dunk. Yeah, it's uh, according to uh, Sonardine, it's 145 meters behind us, 200 bearing 233, and a slant range 2465. Yeah. I forget how to pan this one. This one's not so Oh, good. It, you just kind of scroll. So put your mouse over top of the, that um, bullseye and right. scroll out. And or it'll, or the lake, yeah. or there's a slider bar on the side. Yeah. If you put that up and down on the right side of the screen, there's like a little blue box with arrows. You see it? Nope. Oh well. Also, you need to. You have to switch it to a screen that you can use. This is view only. So if you put it down on your lower screen, you. Can oh, you're talking about this one. Oh yeah. 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 So no, I was oh, you're talking to about that. Do this one. Yes. Yeah, yeah. so you just scroll in and out. Uh, but if you want to zoom in quickly, there's the magnifying glass with the box. Yeah. If you draw draw a box around where you want to zoom in. Window, you mean? Yeah. Oh, no, I actually want to. If you want to zoom out, you have to scroll out to forever. It. I want to pan it. Pan is the, um, the one that has the magnifying glass with the arrows side to side and up and down. It's not an intuitive pan. Yeah, it also goes like the opposite of every, the way I like it, but uh -oh. it's cool. It zooms like a lot of CAD programs I'm used to. Yeah, it does. Oh, my back is killing me. It's like the pain is acute. Mm. Ugh.
Mario, where are you going? Decided to go south for a while. As long as you keep going, you're towing the ROVs around for us. <laughs> Three hundred meters to target that. Three hundred. Doesn't no, seem right. No, it's not right. It was twenty. We were at like twenty six hundred, and oh. they wanted five hundred above. Okay, so, so. Like you also meters. have this tool right here, so you can say you were here forever. Forever. We're at twenty six fifty. Yeah. Yeah. 2130 meters. Jake's got it sorted out. Ah, <laughs> perfect. See, Jake does all our math for us. <laughs> That's good, because I completely forgot. This will probably be So the gotchas here is, uh, yeah, the ship will stop towing, and then, you know, you don't have auto heading on right now, and the mm -hmm. ROVs will come loose, and then Hercules will wrap up. Right. So should I put auto heading on in an at? Uh, before we start feeling uh, this? I typically don't because then it, it's robin flow and you can't come up any okay. faster. And as long as we're towing, you don't really need any forward way on with the vehicle. Okay. But you have to pay attention. All right, just pay attention to any changes. Yeah, those cameras or the sonar or the nav screen spread here right. or all three. But it'll... And also it should be... Uh, closely watching the winch, but yeah, any one of those can go pear-shaped in a heartbeat if you're not watching. People always say, uh, blue water, oh, we have time to, you know, talk about. No, I mean, Body there's job, a lot of things to pay attention to. Yeah, there's a lot going on up here for us, so a lot of times uh, the rest of the room is checked out talking about, you stuff. know, ice cream yeah. Yeah. or whatever. Uh, and yeah, meanwhile, Herc's floating up above mm -hmm. Atlanta, wrapping itself around the 6-8. Yeah, I think that's why like <laughs> o the Okeanos doesn't do their um, science talk on the way down or up. They kind of just let the pilots do their thing. <coughs> yeah, when the winch is moving, I'm probably, um, you know, for me, I've had a lot of bad things happen when the winch is moving and we're not paying attention on mm -hmm. other ROV systems. Yeah, know, that makes sense. Really, really bad things. Yeah, yeah, like a chain breaks on a storage drum and we just start, and the traction drive keeps going and the storage drum stops and we just fill the winch pit full of uh, 681. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, we're all, we're all listening. <laughs> What's that? Oh, you see it? Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, okay. Our, our beacon's reading it at still 450 meters. Yeah, it's a morning. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> oh, because it's 500 meters long. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I got the mooring 50 <laughs> meters off the starboard outside. Yeah, all right, cool. Thanks for spotting that. <laughs> How far away is it, Jake? I'd say 50 meters. Really? 50 meters. <laughs> That's a little close. That's a little close. <coughs> so let's keep going away from that. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to go out there and have a look. All right. I've got a camera here on starboard. Oh, yeah, there it is.
I guess it drifted the same direction we were headed. Yeah. <laughs> go for, well, that's the way the current's going, so that makes perfect sense, which is why we wanted to go so fast. It looks like a lake out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, the current's actually kind of decently strong. Yeah. Well, lakes have strong currents. Yep. Just because it's flat doesn't mean it's not ripping. Okay. So you know how to stop this beast, right? I uh, take it out of stick. More like a hundred meters. Out of depth. Okay. When he says I'll stop on the winch, you will follow. Roger. I think at this point, Megan has more stick time than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you've got we all need, that manipulator time. We need Trevor and his uh, super whammy binoculars to get a range on that buoy. Well, if you say it loud enough, he might be watching. Are you listening, Trevor? <laughs> you could might be able to expense him, because... <laughs> <laughs> Do you, uh, do you light it up with, um, radar? Oreo? Does, uh, does our radar pick up that buoy on the surface? No? Here, by night. <laughs> what do you estimate the range? You have a navigational instrument up there to do exactly that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Shoot it with the sextant. <laughs> I'd say it's more like 100, 150 meters. Roger. and keep zoom on, even with the calm water. Hey, Jake, I think we're uh, passing our uh, target. I thought you said 2132. Did he? Because our bottom was 2156, right? Oh, is it? I wrote it down. What did I write? Yeah, close enough. Or did you write it? Right I'll stop on the winch. All right, I'll stop. Okay. 2648. Uh, Dirk, you want two Niskins? How many Niskins? Two. I'll be Dirk. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's supposed to be two at every um, stop. Copy you, want, that. Uh, you want Danny come back up there, do you? Um, I can do it. I can do it. Could. But I and think at I can some point, I'd like to have coordinates again, please. Oh my gosh, you're going to make me work for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you extra practice on this. <laughs> HD pan? Yes, coming over. So I have my little arrow on, and I click, and then nothing's happening. Yeah, you just double click on the Herc symbol. Okay, three, two, one. It put a time on the Number screen. Three. Yep, and Number then four, when you right click three, on it, you can go to two. properties and change it. Oh, I see what I'm doing. One. I, uh, I just put two of them there. Okay, what's our next target? Thousand meters above bottom. Thousand meters above bottom. You hear that, Jake? Yeah. Oh, you're. Yeah. <laughs> what was our? That was our 500 meter. Yes. Hunt? That was yep. 500. Yeah. What's the water up there? 21, 21.50. Okay, Jake, did you hear that? Next uh, target is... 1658. That's what we're trying to do. 1658. Okay. All right, 1658, roger. So I guess uh, Thank you, Dan. come the up on the winch at uh, 25 meters a minute.
So. Oh shoot. So. So. This must not be an accurate number because. What number? <sighs> the depth. The well, because the go. the the um, beacons on the very bottom of the 500 meter mooring. mooring. Under. So but yeah, that makes sense. Oh no, it does. Horizontal 93. So it's right above us. It's following us. It is following us. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense on this screen. But how do I get control on oh, yeah. that screen? Um, just switch this bottom screen to Sonardyne. So the middle, it's Mon right, sensor. Right. Not Sonar, Sonardyne. Sonardyne. Oh. <laughs> Exquisite. Page. Yeah, and you see the little box on the side there? Yeah, drag it down. You can't pan with this thing, can you? No, no. The ship is in the center, but you can make the other beacons the center if you want. Yeah, so it's pinging right above you. Yeah, you can make Herc the center if you want. Oh no, it's no. pinging way off. In the, where is it? It's Yeah, it's off further. There you go. That's interesting. Is that, Dirk, is the, uh, that's a 500 meter mooring, is it? It's a 500 meter mooring, and oh, yeah. Dirk is currently out of band. I would say the uh, estimations. I, I think we think that estimation there, Jake. Well, also remember, farther away from the ship we are, the less accurate your sonar dime is going to be. Yeah, at that one. But off by. It's, yeah, not it's, up that up, far. it's up by like 50 meters. Well, where's the beacon at? Is it on the very bottom it's or is it up about 50 meters? It's up about like. It was right above where you pulled the pin. So oh. like it lo looks like meters. it's getting further away. Yeah. That's a good thing. So, how do you get its horizontal? Like, I'm getting it from here, but. Oh, um, yeah, you. There's like a tool on the side, the measure tool, the measuring st stick. Yeah, yeah and it'll measure the distance between the two constantly. Yeah. Yeah, like drag from where you want to measure to the beacon you want to measure. Well, from where yep, I want to measure. Click on the tool. Click on the tool. Roger. And oh, that's painful. Yeah, and the release and I'll stay there. A rubber band, as we call it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Go ahead, Bridge. Sorry, oh, yep. that was me. Thanks. Sorry about that. She doesn't want to listen to us. No, I don't. <laughs> So, Megan, you working overtime today? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got, like, five minutes left. I know, but, I mean, like, you could <laughs> stay in your spot. You'll stay be fine. Lynette's going to be confused. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this jelly thing. It's really interesting. Mm. Going to be so confused. I mean, I confused, uh, confused the scientist last night. I was in the back row. Yep, switching spots. Everybody's <laughs> like, change places. Did you guys want Atlanta to be looking horizontal, or do you want it to look down? Uh, Atlanta is horizontal with Hook right now and being right. dragged by the ship, so they're just. It can just it can look down a little. Yeah. It can I just wasn't sure if you guys wanted to look down at it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah they you can. can look wherever you want. I was just going down my. Uh, look into the light. They enjoy looking at critters yeah. as they go by. Yeah, critters are fun. Okay, I'll look into the light. I'll even turn the lights back on. For some reason they had all the lights off. All but one. 
All right, guys, video is in a watch change. Have a great day. Roger. Thanks, Pete. Thank yeah, you. see you tonight, Pete. Yes, sir. Uh. Uh. Blue water. Jake's matching my speed exactly. Look at this. Yeah, that is uh, typically the job of the Argus, or the winch operator, Argus mm -hmm. pilot, to keep it's that number. It's okay, I got Niskins to pull. Correct. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, since our box is not working. Uh, we'll fix it. Yeah. I really like the box stand. It's tech. great. Yeah, it's quality. I mean, it's a couple steps above Jeff, but... Yeah. I mean, we got a nice box stand, too, now. We do. Are you a high-pack plan or high-pack survey? I can never uh, remember which. Survey. So when we go back out, I'm going to bring one of these, mm -hmm. program it, yeah. and no more joystick. <laughs> this is like a new Xbox controller. Yeah, it's not new. Old, it's like old uh, style. So I've got controller. some old ones. It is an old one. It's like an Xbox 360 controller. Mm -hmm. eh, it might be Xbox One. Yeah, it's Xbox One. I've got a fancy version with extended joysticks sitting on the nightstand. Yeah. Should be watching that winch over there, so. I'm watching you, what you're watching, and I can judge the room by what people up here are looking at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, you're watching yeah. this. Yeah, you guys should be, we all should be, right? So. Yeah, I'm looking at everything. I'm kind of yeah. just like doing this. Especially, um, especially at the, um, at the crossovers. Mm -hmm. So when the cable's at the end. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Watch the crossover every Especially time. Especially like, yeah. well, I, I was doing that a lot last year when we had the lumpus. Yeah. I can, I'll, I'll up and put it up here in front of me because I forget as well. So. All right, Ken. Look how Start beautiful that cable lay is, so. One gap. Yeah, my biggest battle, Blue Water, is becoming complacent. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so entrancing. Yeah, yeah. But it's kind of the most dangerous part. Yeah, for me, the most dynamic, right? Ships moving, winches moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of moving parts, a lot of things to keep track of that are changing. Yeah, if the winch is not moving, I don't worry about it, right? <laughs> right, yeah. It's one, one less thing I... Let's see here, what are they doing dive logs? 
Off bottom, I, I think as long as the gauges are good, well, not a lot we can do about it now, right? Mm -hmm. Except notice it, worry about it. Uh, I just had the winch cameras changed down here. Okay. Did you touch a salvo? I fired my all cams to do my, my yep. health check. You broke it. I broke oh. it. No one said anything to me. I see 16 cameras. Sorry, that, I didn't get the message many. not to touch anything. That's all right. Um, Is there a, do you know what I should fire to fix that? Uh, yeah, you have control. You can control what Jake sees on the uh, deck monitor. Yeah, I just don't know which thing to send it to. This would be fine, but none of the cameras are on the winch. Yeah, no, give me one <laughs> second. I'm sorry about that. I never get, I didn't get the memo not to touch. So, well, it should, we should be able to fire our dive salvo and it should fix it. Um, dive salvo should fix it? Uh, yeah, our dive salvo should. We were told not to touch salvo because something Ed had to do. Ed it's had to do too something late. Funny. Hit the dive salvo? I, I, I'm sorry, I did not get that memo. Not a big deal, Jake. We're watching it. Did I fix it, to, uh, Jake? Yeah, Roger. Again, apologies. I won't touch anything from now on. No, it's no, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. We got we got it on six cameras in here, Jake. So you're all I, good. I got a good view of uh, Cam Pilot. So I see Danny when his oh, face, when his eyes widen. I'll, I'll <laughs> stop I'm doing it. No, I'll look on setting that down to you. We're coming up. Um, so the mooring is on the surface. It's behind us. We're running away from it. It keeps chasing us. You've got four cameras, Jake, yeah, so or 16? should be on the I surface. I got 16 cameras. 16 cameras. Oh, an That's hour? a, a new Nautilus that song. Yeah. So there's a destination oh. down there. Um, then it's just going to be deck ups That's for the rest of the year. You should have a deck destination yeah, of winch. They're going to go and pick up the deck mooring monitor, recovery, I think. and that's yep. going to take. Probably until and you can send like him um, uh, a head, meter head three, I think. It says winch alt. Mm -hmm. Winch alt. Yeah, let me take yeah. a look. Or you could send him winch alt. That'll work. Yeah, we went over this briefly. I'm looking for it. So, uh, you can send him. I don't know how Ed. I don't think Ed generates a quad anywhere. If, it, if you just send him winch out, he'll be happy. He'll All right. Work. Sounds good. Oh, and we're taking Niskins at 1,000 meters above bottom, which will be in 100 meters or so. I'll be happy either way. You can leave <laughs> Dan. It's okay. Yeah, Dan's having a hard time. It's very challenging over there. You have to type stuff sometimes. I have to spell and do math yeah, and all that when kind you, of navigators. Yeah, when you have to select off bottom, you, you can't choose on bottom. <laughs> 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 you choose on bottom once and you're branded for life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have winch alt there, Jake? Is that a salvo? I'm looking for the location. Uh, it's a it source. No, it's not a salvo. It's a source? Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking for it. It's right next to Cam Wet, Cam Starboard, Cam Hanger, and all that. Yeah, I see it. Okay, we're coming up on... Uh, 100 meters to, okay. Yep. Still got 100 meters to go. Do, 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 you want a blue water in it, or do you want your regular seat? Do you want to sit here or there? Either when you're going to be stuck there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> this seat is warmer. Lynette's actually, she's operated the ROV a couple times. No, yeah. not this expedition, no. Last no. nice one, she's. So we have we have traded seats before. Yeah. Yeah. Chinese fire drill. Change places. Mm. Yeah. You don't have a Niskin uh, button, Dan. 
using the bubble cam for Niskins is not authorized. You're supposed to use the HD cam. Oh, well. I do use the HD cam, but then I use bubble cam too. Drunken bubble in that mode because it's base acres. Your items. Thanks, Megan. Thank you for teaching me how to right click. Still pretty challenged, but. <laughs> There's a lot of clicking going on over here. That's all we ever do. Click. Way too much paperwork for me. Look at this pile. I know. I don't even know how to read. Do you remember what we're watching for there? Here? Yeah, Here? yeah, yeah, that, that. <laughs> I'll give you my spiel again if you All want, right. if you're interested. I don't know that I ever got your spiel. Yeah, I don't know if you've done blue water there, but not. I, I front I row, just a heads up that we are approaching our next target depths at 1658 for the last two Niskins. 1658, Roger. 165 at 1658 you're gonna click that one okay. come out of stick lock and uh click auto heading in or just auto depth should be good okay and then they'll have you pan to niskins yeah then Ooh. you'll rack back and pan left okay coming on stop on the winch Uh, what was the target one? One six five eight. Correct. Yeah, Roger that. Too. I'll stop on the one. Okay. You went one around up to uh, one six six zero. <laughs> Can I get you to pan over to the Niskins? So what? Do I, yeah. Oh, oh. Do I rack back? You should be rack back. back already. Okay. Uh, Jake. Yeah, they're good. They're good. Nope, you're good. <sighs> okay, Niskin firing in three, two, one. Second Niskin firing in three, two, one. Niskins are all fired. Thank you. And the coordinates, please. Coordinates are up on the screen. Correct. I don't know what the alleged altitude was here. I just recorded the water depth. Um, 1,000 meters above bottom, but it's fine. I got them. I'll just do a uh, tilde, approximately 1,000, calculated 1,000 <laughs> altitude. Alti? <laughs> Alti, Alti is good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can continue our okay. ascent. I like the clackety keyboard. Up is down and down is up. Yeah. We Thank you, Dan. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm learning. Except I have a double tap one back here, so it's like oh, just I'll noise. Just turn this off. Up yeah, is down, I down is up. Yeah, so pull back 100% and wow. then hit stick lock. Video, I'm going to turn off the down lights. Roger. And play with the iris. And yep. Yeah, so we're watching the normal tail to tail. You know all this, mm -hmm. but we're watching the tail to tail and the two aft cams. Yep. The sonar separation, the nav screen separation. And okay. Jake, you can come up on the winch. Roll. You can do 30 meters a minute. 
Do you want me to slow Coming down? Uh, yeah, you can just stop, just float for a minute. Just go dead stick, basically. Okay. Let him catch dead up. Stick. I forgot to. Then uh, when he comes up, once they're both in the aft cameras, we can go again. Okay. And since we're moving forward still at point three, you don't have to, like, you know, it, in theory, should keep her tailing out behind on a happy okay. inverse heading, which it is. We started streaming early to get away from the... The mooring? The mooring, yeah. Makes sense. I'm still pinging it, interestingly enough, at 600 meters away from her. There's a beacon on the bottom of that orange ball floating on the water. Oops, wrong button. I like the blue uh, vibe we got going on today. Blue vibe. Whoa. Yeah, not red today. We're blue. What's that? Oh yeah. What's up with that? There's a very expensive lighting controller over there on the. <laughs> <laughs> Little overkill for this uh, situation. Mm -hmm. Nothing but the best for us. It's uh, studio grade lighting control, obviously. To so we can make it pink in here? <sighs> you can any color you want. <sighs> what else do I get to do? Um, it's not a lot. The hardest part is to keep eyes on, you know, complacency is our, yeah. our biggest... Uh, you can move the camera around. Danny could probably give you his spiel on the manipulator, and you could operate that. Ooh. Let's do it. You've never played with the manipulator? No, I did once, not. like, 100 years ago. It has been 100 years ago. <laughs> oh, <laughs> seems like it's so last expedition. I'll trade your spots. Okay. You all right out there, Jake? Oh, yeah, I'm just fine. <laughs> Roger. Sunshine in. Ooh, didn't mute. Change places. Okay, so. You could come uh, 30 meters a minute if you want, Jake. Okay. Just for a while. Get uh, out of that negative Commuted. delta. Okay. All right. Do you hear me? I can hear you. I can't hear you, but I will fix that. Okay. There we go. Now I can hear you. All right. Okay. So, you've ran the craft before. But I don't remember anything. Don't remember anything. <laughs> okay. So, you've got all the different functions of the arm. Mm -hmm. You've got your shoulder function here. Mm -hmm. You've got elbow, wrist up, wrist down. Wrist yaw left, wrist yaw right. Mm -hmm. You've got your trigger, which is your grab. Okay. You've got grip lock, so when you're holding something, you hit this button here, and that light will come on. Only when it's live, it will come on, and it will say you're locked. Okay. You have wrist rotate here, okay. or you can shut this light off and do wrist rotate here. Okay. Depending on how you want to function. Okay. And then to swing the arm is the arm to swing, and I usually hold it like this, mm -hmm. and I'll do, I got support in the back here, nice gentle movements. Okay. And then, so say you run out of room, like you're here, mm -hmm. you hit this button, you'll freeze, 
come back up, unfreeze, and you can make all your movements again. Okay. What's the freeze and unfreeze button? This top button right here. Okay. This light will be on when it's frozen, and it will be off when it's unfrozen. Okay. So when you're ready, hit this button here, and that will activate hydraulics. So if you look over here at the arm, mm -hmm. Whoa. arm's on. Okay. So now hydraulics are active. Go ahead and put... Just um, gonna bring uh, change bucket cam over to uh, uh, hold on, I can do it here. Can I do it here? I got it. Just have this up so you can click that yeah, if you I will, but I was gonna change bucket cam to overview cam. Yeah. Pilot cam. Yeah, right. I feel like uh, Trevor. not it. You turned off. Change it here. Okay, so you've got an overview camera here that okay. shows you can hit that one too. Yep, you'll have your sure the base of the manipulator. So I hit the craft preset. But yeah. I did. And then So you've got the craft here, so when you're ready, push mm -hmm. this button here. Okay. And now you're live. So now you can okay, Jake, you can totally back out. off to uh 30 meters a minute. So, first thing you want to do is bring your uh, shoulder down and your elbow Roger up. Roger that, back enough. We're doing uh, 28.6. So, if you freeze, like that. you're frozen right 29. now. Oh. So, you Wait. Know? Why can I still move this? Oh, you're not, you're not frozen. Weird. Confused. I am too. Uh, the go the Gafrana speed is showing twice as fast okay. as what it actually so is. That's how you're supposed to be. Really? If you hold the freeze button <laughs> for a long time, it'll go into some weird cow mode, and you'll get a funky message on the screen. It's cow like mode? A, yeah. So if you hold that halt button for too long, it, oh. it, gets, it goes, um, as my wife would say, stuck on stupid. <laughs> Okay. Moves hey, into a weird kind of thing. Release the jaws. And if you feel your trigger, the harder you push, the more you power you have to close. So you can stop it. I could send you the uh, Herc screen, Jake, instead of that if you want to see it there on the screen. Then you could get utility. Yeah, send me, send me whatever. <laughs> uh, Jacob, do you have um, the hurt GUI on? It's usually on like PC4 or something. Yeah, I can try to send that down to him. Yeah, that'd be great. Hey, Jake, do you have a preference of uh, which screen goes away for Hurt GUI? So you want to send uh, Hurt GUI to the deck monitor, winch monitor? That's where he is. Bottom left would be ideal. Bottom left. Roger, I can do that for you. Should have it down there. Getting a feel for it? Mm -hmm. Looks like you're getting a feel for the uh, the craft. 
How's he doing that, Jacob? Is he is he using one of the multi viewers? Yeah, he's running through a multi viewer. Oops. So he's burning a whole multi viewer for the seems to winch? seems to be. Wow. That's why I could initially figure out how he was getting it down there. Should give him a seven eleven quad view. <laughs> <laughs> so. Now I know I can send him whatever he needs, but what multi viewer is it? Uh, multi four or three. Multi viewer, multi -viewer four, four. That's right. So multi viewer three is. What is multi viewer three? It is head three doing. On left. Uh, oh, that looks like it's um all either all cam or I don't know specifically what that is. Or he's using multi viewer three for the the other screens on the ship, like yeah. the mess. Maybe. It's a, a good question. I should ask him. I forget what head three is. He's, there's four multi viewers, right? Yep. I want to grab something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can grab the suction handle on the forge. Really? Do you trust me? Do we trust her? I don't know, do we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So you've got an overview camera here. Let me turn on porch lights. Do any porch be. lights? It might be challenging to. Do that without extending the porch, and I don't know if the. If we've still got the dredge in there, or I don't know what's going on down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah grab yeah. that hockey puck. Yeah, grab that hockey puck. You have to send the porch out for it. I can send the porch out. We haven't tested it yet. So you're going to want to grab it from the top, kind of a straight down. How do I? Oh, this is. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Can you put it back on utility for Jake's oh, using that? So. I can. I can't really see the speed. It's too small. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's 28.8 .8 meters a minute, so we're perfect there. As long as the delta's positive, you can see that part, right? Need your Grafana back. Wow, it's a little slowed up. They on the phone. Sometimes it gets wonky. Uh, oh, he's on the phone. Well, now he's on the phone checking his Facebook page. <laughs> What? So you're gonna Never. Want to rotate your <laughs> your yaw to the right. Yeah. Go ahead. And nicely done. Very so. nicely done. So that's how we suck up little creatures. Lynette has a smooth touch on there, no herky jerky. Beautiful. I think you might lose another navigator. <laughs> <laughs> They're dropping like flies. <laughs> Go ahead and try that a few times, uh, grabbing it different ways and different positions. Okay. It actually works pretty well. It actually does work pretty well. That's a, I think that's a Tedarenko invention there. He got it in one try and we, what, like six, rev sixes and we couldn't get it. <laughs> nice to have a fresh pair of eyes.
it's funny because uh, so careful pulling it too too oh, far because okay. then the budgie might get stuck in there. But Sorry, got excited. Oh, no, it should be all right. That's part of the testing procedure. <laughs> yeah, I was just making sure that your bungee's good. Yeah. I have a uh, 3D model that looks suspiciously like that piece of PVC. <laughs> yeah, it goes back in nice when you just let go of it. That's the bonus. Looks like they took our lightsaber off. <sighs> yeah, they must have stowed it somewhere back on the, on the vehicle. Yeah, because the hose is still there. It looks like it's fed back through. Yeah. Y'all done with your fun? I'm done with my fun. Okay. I grabbed a hockey puck. I'm satisfied. So close your jaws. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Wrong button. Close your jaws tight. Are they closed? No. no. There we go. There you go. Now push your jaw freeze. Oh boy. I don't have enough fingers. Grip for lock. This. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now put your arm into the happy spot. Okay, happy spot. Freeze your arm. Is this good? Yep. Are we happy here? Let's go swing out a little bit. Swing out. That's good. Okay. Freeze your arm. Make sure it's frozen. There you go. Now yep. hit your blue button. Blue button. Panic button. And the arm is stowed. Cool. Good job. Yay. Great. <laughs> <laughs> you did great. Thanks. Did a lot better than I did the first time. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Denny had to fix it before he had to operate it. But <laughs> <laughs> There was a question that came in. Why are um, what are Niskin samples? That's a very good question. That is a good question for a scientist. <laughs> uh, Niskin samples. Um, basically, it's just a water. Sa it's a Niskin is a a brand of water sampler, and it's a style of water sampler. So the way it is is basically a PVC pipe with two plugs on either end. And we spring load those plugs to snap shut at various depths to uh, obtain a sample. These, I believe, are two liter Niskins? I don't know. I want to say six liter Niskins, but six I could liter? be wrong. Yeah. Possibly. I wrote five liters because I annotated them in the sample sheet. Yeah. Somewhere in that neighborhood? Yeah. Uh, basically, we have a piece of surgical tubing between two end caps that are O-ring sealed, and we trigger those using golf balls on the vehicle. 3D printed golf balls. 3D printed golf balls. And um, it's a very common way of obtaining water samples in the uh, in the depths of the sea. It gets them in a very specific depth. Yeah. Usually, these are mounted on a rosette. We have 24 of them, uh, and they send those down many times during a cruise on uh, like the Unol's research vessels, and they obtain many, many water samples. Oh, and C actually has one. We've run it down on uh, on the CTD winch, I believe. They have a little mini rosette. Oh, a mini rosette. Yeah. Very cute. Maybe you guys can order one of our new ones. I want to patent it. Thank you very much for that definition. Well, it looks like everything's tickety-boo here. I'm going to um, 
jump back in the pilot seat no, so you I'm can gonna, drive this thing? I'm going to run down for a bio break before I jump in there. Okay. You guys good? I think so. Make sure you have a radio on you. Good. You'll hear the screaming. <laughs> oh, we're at a thousand meters. You gonna let me drive this thing home? <laughs> you gonna let me drive this thing home? <laughs> Ooh, that sounds fun. Why are they doing the winch from the deck? Our winch control quit working. Oh, cool. That's that would explain fun. that. I, I don't know if that's a definition of cool curious. I would uh, use, but <laughs> you know, Jake gets a little sun sun sunshine. It's nice and sunny out there. I missed it. Got to break out the wireless headphones. Yeah. What was that, Jacob? Oh, I said I was also just curious why there was someone uh, at the win back winch mm. versus usually in here. I thought it had something to do with the ONC winch ops, but. Mm. No, our nope. remote control here in the uh, control van died. Noted. And we didn't want to open it during the dive because we have our main uh, high voltage power control going through the middle of it. That sounds like, yeah, I wouldn't. Good call. We don't want to kill the vehicle at the, at the depths. Come on. I mean, I can, I can see your logic there. It's a little bit of a stretch, but I get it. Joking. Joking, of course. Can I play with these buttons? Play what with do the these buttons. do? Those are for that screen. So you can scroll through there and take a look through there. You have all your lights and different uh, systems on the vehicle. Hook hydraulics will is how we control the uh, magnum arm. Mm -hmm. That's also how we push the trays out, do the pan and tilt, various boxes. Can I tool tray out for a second? Uh, I wouldn't tool tray out, but you can porch in, in and out. Oh, that's what I meant. Porch. Yeah. Porch, porch extend. extend. Yep, you'll see Boom. it in uh, down oh, cam there. Oh, look at that. Come on, one more. You can hold it. You don't oh, you to just hold click it? it? Yeah, you hold it. Oh, there you go. Oh, I see. Cool. And you can do uh, pan and tilt overrides, which is the same as this uh, joystick here. This? Yep, that's how you control the Zeus. Kay. It's also how you pan and tilt uh, forward and aft, rack in, rack out, as we say. Is this another click and hold situation? Yeah, if you watch the uh, main camera. Whoa, whoa. What about this one? That is bubble cam. So this is the controller for bubble cam. Okay. So bubble cam is this screen right here in front of you. So you can go ahead and uh, scroll through various, looking at different things with this camera. Okay. Whoa. So down is up, up is down. Naturally. And you can rotate it around. Look at all kinds of things. Uh, we have some presets. We have K for craft, G for gauges, M for magnum, and P for porch. And then we have zoom, focus, iris. We left the kids without supervision. Hey. Were you able to range our buoy? We are 1,199 meters away from the buoy. Sunodyne! Laser beams. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty Whoa. dang good for an SD camera. 
composite video? You're looking at bubble cam? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's fantastic. It's very helpful. Wish we can get those res resolutions out of the other standard cameras. <laughs> I know. Turn lasers off. Sorry, no, I don't have a question. Well, you can. Uh, no, leave lasers on. Oh. Wait for who? Scientists requested lasers on for the water. Oh. In case a big fish or something or like that, that comes by. Yeah, you can. I can still hear you whispering. <laughs> No, you did not, because I can still hear you. No, wait, never mind. That's because I'm on you. I'm forced listening. So we have Atalanta controls as well. This is how we direct Atalanta. Mm -hmm. That's how we point the camera on Atalanta. Turn on all the lights, turn on the various cameras, different sensors. What's up, down, stop? Uh, if you hit up, you'll see that camera on the uh, top quad right there. Hold it up. Whoa. It'll be able to tilt up. Whoa. Yep. Just be careful. Sometimes it runs away and you'll have to run down and hit the tilt button. Okay. If it starts taking off, you have to hit the uh, tilt on button down there. Tilt on button. This? Yeah, you'll have to hit that. Okay. Basically, it shuts the power off to it. Okay. And um, if you look at your compass rows, you'll see a uh, big red line. That's the line that Hercules is heading. Mm -hmm. uh, the small one is the direction that Atlanta is heading. Right now, we're tail to tail, as we like to say. Mm -hmm. And you can sense. see that in the uh, rear cameras on both vehicles. Atalanta is 13 meters ahead, uh, above. above us. Yeah. That's okay, because it's staying solid. Jake's doing a good job on deck. Always doing a good job. Oh, we're just talking about our winch operator, how great he is. So, Lena, how long have you worked for OET? Um, not that long. I started last year. Last year? Yeah. How many cruises so far? This is my eighth cruise. Eighth cruise, and you started last year. Mm -hmm. Can't get off this boat, Wait, can you? Did you just right. not leave last year? Um, I haven't left this year. <laughs> <laughs> so you did five last year? I did three last year. Oh, we are on shakedown? Yeah. Okay. That yeah. Make, I was trying to do math. Yep. Shake, gotcha. Two shakedowns. Ooh, Shakedown fun. one and two. And then, what did we do after that? Kingman and Palmyra. Yep. Then transit over. I wasn't on the transit. Okay. Oh, and yeah, you weren't. ONC. And now you're here. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. How about you? 
Well, I did the transit in this one. Okay. That's the first time. Uh, this is the first time working with Hook, but I was directly involved with the uh, refit over the winter. Okay. Sweet. I was supposed to be on shakedown, but other things got in the way, like people w with more seniority wanting to be on board. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> But now that I'm here, they're going to have a hard time getting rid of me. Excellent. It's <laughs> good. I just got to convince my other bosses to uh, continue the relationship. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I'm on loan from the university. Same with Megan. Yeah. Cool. Seems like a good relationship to have. UH. Nautilus. Yeah. Very symbiotic. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll go sit over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta hit mute when you when you pull the plug. Sorry, it's my first cruise. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of first cruisers on this expedition. It's true. Or so it seems. Technically, this is my second cruise. Me too. We're counting the transit over. I take. I've been told it counts. It counts. I guess so. Okay, so we're on two. We're on two. It's a beautiful day out. It is. Absolutely almost disturbingly gorgeous. calm. Makes me wish I had a like a model OC boat or something I could go drive <laughs> around out there. Mm. Actually, I really wish I would have bought my drone. I think ONC has a drone. I think you, uh, not ONC, I mean uh, OET. We, we have a, a DJI, I think DJI Mini. You should be flying that. Get some really cool footage. I'm not certified to. You're not? No, I'm not. And also, I also don't know how to fly a drone. Which oh, is the more well, important of the two that's, qualifications. That's, yeah, that's a little bit of an issue. I always lead with the, I'm not qualified to. I don't have the certification to, and usually that hides the fact that I have no idea how to fly a drone. But in reality, yeah, I, I would crash it immediately. I'm certified. Bring that thing out here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can work something out. I was going to say, uh, I don't have my commercial license, but I'm a pretty dang good pilot for those uh, drones. That was on the over the winter checklist was to train me how to fly a drone and it never never came to be, unfortunately. Go pick one up. The Costco, they're not that expensive. I you know. learn everything you can. It's actually quite easy. The the test is the hard part. It's all yeah. like FAA regulations and yes, all sorts of heard. Oh, Jake rules actually has stuff. his commercial license. Oh, Jake is licensed to do it. I'm just obvious. I'll learn eventually. It'd be a helpful skill. You have drones, Jake? Yeah, I have a little DJI Mini. Okay. And you have, and you got your com uh, your commercial drone license? Yeah, just this past year, I wanted to start uh, using it more. Yeah. Well, we have some conversations to have. Yeah, definitely. I got to Indeed, we do. I plan on getting my uh, commercial. I need to. That way I can actually use the footage I get.
20 minutes. Where'd the buoys go? About 1290 meters to our west. Roger. What's the question? Uh, where the, the buoy or the, the float from the mooring went. Oh, we have no idea. It's about 1290 meters to our west. It's back there. Did they go and grab it yet, or are they going to wait for us to bring the vehicles on deck? Vehicles first. Yeah. Cool. What's so funny, Ulrika? Mm. Messages from shore. Anything fun? They some of them agree that it's a beautiful, calm ocean. Another person said, I wish they had a regular civilian ride along that citizens can donate to Ocean Exploration Trust and do a cruise volunteer work on the ship for however long you're out. It would be great, um, a great introduction to the hard work you do and would be a great way to raise money for the trust. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we have like a contact us kind of a page. Yeah, it sounds like almost close to going down the internship path. Because mm -hmm. we have, those are the routes to get out here. Or a lot of times the internships are the science communication fellowships. Well, we'll just start bringing mil uh, millionaire trust funders out here and like charge them to for the at-sea experience. We could always do that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you guys really want um, to do that kind of route, you guys are welcome to go to our contact page. And there's an actual general and charter inquiries that you can email, which the email address is info at oet.org. And there's even a, an employment uh, page, too. I want to go push on that. I wonder what kind of job openings are there. You already work here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, do we actually work? Yeah. We get paid to go on vacation. Something Speak like for that. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it's This is an inc overall incredibly positive experience, but I would not classify it as a vacation. <laughs> no? I agree. Incredibly positive experience, but I don't think you're not this tired on vacations. I mean, my, 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 my day job classifies this as a vacation. <laughs> 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 well, that's just how you've got the time. Uh, vacation is, you know, sitting on the beach, not having to worry about what's going on with anything. I agree. That's the plan for after. I wonder what cookie hour will bring us today. Oh, uh, it, it was some sort of brownie thing. Shoot. Uh, I'm more wondering uh, what's for dinner, because that's closer. As, as we can all hear... Some of us are hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we'll, well be you know, down to like one and a half mils a day with this watch. <laughs> yeah, you have the, what are you, three to three? Oh, three to three. So yeah, 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. So I get one legitimate meal, and then I get scraps at 3 a.m. <laughs> because that's the only way to classify it. There's literally nothing left. You need to be like me and make yourself a second meal for later. That would be the smart thing to do. You can do it. Do you want me to do that with you on our next dinner <laughs> escapade? Because I've done that for the first two weeks. Uh, you know, if I was smarter, I would have thought of that. 
You're plenty smart, brother. <laughs> Sometimes we just need a fresh, fresh ideas from friends. A fresh set of eyes. Yeah. Get into this tunnel vision of uh, watch standing, 12 hours on, 12 off. Mm-hmm. Like wake up an hour before the watch, go to sleep like a half hour after watch. The days blow together. I don't even know what day it is. What is it? Wednesday? Thursday? It is Wednesday. Wednesday. I'm pretty sure like the last five watches we've been in the water. Yeah, I feel like it's been kind of non-stop diving. It's great when the vehicles are functioning and yeah. stuff's getting done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not complaining. Very productive dives we've had. Especially last night. I mean, did you see the hole I dug? <laughs> it was, was it a hole you dug or a hole you sucked? I saw the hole you in, or vacuum. Yeah, that's more the that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Then that's over here dying. <laughs> It's all perspective, right? I really hope you're on SBL because this is hilarious. <laughs> We've got a total of how many people watching us uh, talk about holes in the bottom of the sea? <laughs> Did you guys ever see the underwater lake? What? There's an underwater lake. I mean, we saw flange pools. Brine pools or anything? Yeah. yeah, the brine pool. Yeah, those are cool. Did you know that, Lynette? I did not know that. I don't know anything about this. I think it's heavy water. Yeah, it, it's super salinated mm. water that pools at the bottom of the ocean. So there's little. Mm. Does it look different? Yes. So you know when you watch SpongeBob and they've got the ooh, the the goo lagoon? Oh yeah. It's, All right. That's a brine pool. Cool. Yeah, it, it's just like incredibly it. salty water that pools at the bottom because it's heavier. Hmm. We and saw that here? Oh, uh, not no. recently, but do okay. we? the Nautilus Live YouTube channel does have clips of it. Cool. It was a while ago, but it, we've seen it. I'm check it in out. In terms of an OET blanket, we. Awesome. I can show you later on, too, on our production Mac, or, or even our playback Mac has it, because we like to show it, yeah. the kids. Heck yeah. The the pool in the ocean. Also, well, we can also show them the hole in the bottom of the sea. The yeah, I could. Okay, children, this is how you vacuum. There's a ball in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Okay, it's time to be quiet now, yeah? I don't know. The adults are still yeah. not in the room. Yeah, the adults. That's closer to 50. We're still at 400. There's gonna be a time. <laughs> where we're not allowed to talk, or me, I'm not allowed to talk anymore on SPL, and that time is coming up soon. So. No, you still got 10 minutes. 10 more minutes. I'd say eight minutes. We made someone who's. Uh, at 2 a.m. wherever this person is at and he's afraid he laughed so hard that his housemates broke up. Then we did our job. I think, yeah, that's an accomplishment for us. Are you entertained? Go four to eight. <laughs> four to eight watch. The last wa two watches, there's been no back row. <laughs> it's, cause it's, it's been a sense. Yeah. That's their, good. Their job is done. You are the back row. Oh, yeah. Holding down the Myself port. and Rika. Mm -hmm. Holding down the row. Now someone has to make sure that you're not breaking anything in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just 
just curious who chose blue for today's theme. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Oh. You do not realize it's not red in here? Oh, I didn't like it. realize it. I like the blue. I mean, I could go for like a violet purple, but. Ooh, yeah. That'd it's more on uh, OET branding. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Give us that LED room teenager vibe. Not so teenager, but young adult vibe. No. Oh. The RGB lights. RGB gamer style. Yeah. It's like my office at home. Good looking office. I got water cooled PC, you know, and you gotta have the LEDs. I think I discovered why I really like. The, oh, the data room. The data room has, I call them Tinkerbell lights. Because I have the same lights in my bedroom. It makes me so happy. They are totally twinkle lights. The reflection of the clouds on the water outside is so pretty. It is a beautiful oh, so day. Bright. Get this thing on deck so I can enjoy it. Happening. Yeah, beware. When you guys exit this room, you will be blinded by the blinded light. Blinded by the light. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Oh, um, Brother Danny, remember when you were talking about potions and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Did ever, anyone ever tell you that someone submitted their spell of a potion into a chat? thing here let me look for it i wonder if it's still up <laughs> while well, i was mixing my witch's brew yes <laughs> okay i don't think it's still up anymore wait oh that's awesome this is i was unsure how i was gonna like this online chat experience like <laughs> added to the, the whole time yeah but i kind of like it because i'm a twitch streamer oh are you so Oh, yeah, this is your home environment. This is great. <laughs> it's going to make me want to go home and stream some more. I which have I haven't no done in like a year. What kind of gamer? I, I have a Twitch channel. Ah, I have no idea what that is. I stream my video games and talk to random people at 3 a.m. Ooh. Life. I mean, same thing as we're doing right now, right? I mean, we're streaming a video game. I mean, it's not a video game, but it... I mean, it is to you. Okay, well, I can't find the the spell. It is gone. <laughs> I should have hearted it. I guess I should uh, turn on my radio. Listen, if Dan's talking to us through the radio. Okay, it is time for the launching of, I mean, recovering of vehicles time, so. Uh, 230 minutes, 230 meters, I mean, not minutes. That would be a long recovery. So, Dan, I don't think this works, does it? Nope, that don't work. You just turned on blue, not SPL. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, because I'm forced listening to you. Ooh, which is his Twitch channel? I'm a mod for a Twitch streamer. Uh, I am not going to. I am not going to plug my own Twitch stream right now because I am here in an official capacity. I like that response. I was like, interesting. 
if someone wants to figure that out, they can have fun. Thank you. Because I actually had someone stalk me and find me on LinkedIn. Oh, dang. Yeah, yeah they're asking me about 3D printing. Allison is assuming the position. I don't know if Dan can hear me or not, but I need an adult. I don't know what I'm doing. That's fine. <laughs> just in time for dinner, guys. I mean, I just keep it between the goalposts, right? I mean, that's the, I, I think I could handle that. But I mean, I've never done it, and I don't think I'm going to do it first time without, you know, my trainer next to me. I was going to say, it's nice to have Nothing your kumo next to you whenever you're doing something new. Especially something as critical as recovering. <laughs> Are you an August pilot? I guess so. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> you got this, Danny. Yeah, it's we believe in you. Slightly scared, but I know Dan's not gonna uh, let that. Why don't you talk through the p the the thing? Because whenever I do something new on the boat, I talk through the the Once steps. When I come to the surface, I just drive away from the ship, right? Mm-hmm. Nice and slowly. I, I can do that, I think. And you're supposed to keep the. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm sure I'd rather have an adult next to me, but yeah, we can make this work. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if my uh, partner is uh, watching and listening right now because that is a phrase that is used by him quite often. Between all of us, there's one adult. <laughs> Just like when something's not right at work, and it's like, help, I need an adult. You're an adult. Adult, you're an adult. And it, that's painfully real, though. <laughs> you got this, Danny. <clears throat> oh, I'm confident. Just drive the boat. Keep it between the go posts. I see that. The sharks? That's cool. It's a great day. Oh yeah, there were sharks. It's a wonderful day. I don't know. I saw one just before I came on watch. Yeah, go ahead. Copy that. Sounds like a plan. Hmm? 
He's driving it. Dan's driving the Dan's driving the winch. Oh. Not only are they yelling in my ear, they're yelling in my ear. Look how pretty it is. It's never this bright. Oh, we're up at the Look at Captain's not on the bridge. Shouldn't we stop the ascent? Yeah, I feel like we need to stop the ascent. Yeah, tell Dan to all stop on the winch. Yeah, go ahead, Larry. I'll stop at 25 meters. Control. Yeah, come on. Captain's on the bridge. Pete, you last. Captain is now on the bridge. Roger, bridge, bridge back deck. Permission to go ahead and continue with retrieval. Charlie, to continue. Copies coming up. Ten meters a minute. Roger, ten meters a minute. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I just need uh, you know, if you want to just walk me through what I need to do. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. I am totally fine with that. <laughs> no, he was just saying on the radio.
have uh, Hercules streaming off to port. Roger, um, laddering over. Bridge control. Go ahead. Can we hold position here, please. Roger, holding position.
Hercules is 10 meters from the transom. Roger. And uh, Hercules is passing the transom. Roger. And uh, Hercules is clear of the water. Roger that. High voltage is secure.